tell the story. This story is about an abandoned old cemetery. This story happened with them, Rakib, Tamim, Sajib, and describe the place where the story happened to us. The place is like this, from our village. One kilometer away, there is an old graveyard in the middle of the paddy field. There are two huge banyan trees in the graveyard, and one banyan tree planted by the village people. Now there are three in that location. There was no good road from the village to the graveyard. The width of the paddy field I had to go to Lee. There was a pond next to that old cemetery. It is heard from people's mouths. About that cemetery and that pond, there are many terrible incidents. Jin used to live in that pond. In those days they used to help people. For example, when a poor boy or girl got married, to complete the marriage, dishes, utensils, bones would flow through the middle of the pond and come to the bank of the pond. Used to complete the work, after completing the work, clean it well, wash the dishes in the pond, had to bring them. One day when a person was returning the things, due to the flesh sticking to the bones, the jinn did not help people anymore, the jinn or the whole life. 4. Leaving that pond, again about the cemetery next to the pond, many horrible incidents are heard in the mouth of people, such as in that cemetery, all the dead people of a village were buried, and some people would cut off the dead person's head in the dark of night. The next morning the body of the dead person would be found on the grave. One night, in the old cemetery outside the village, the body of an unknown person was seen hanging on the banyan tree with two fingers cut off. This body is reported in all the villages, from all the surrounding villages. People come to see the body, but no one recognizes the body. Finally the people of the village arranged to bury the body overnight in the old cemetery, and after finishing the burial, the village people came home. The next morning, the dead body was found lying on the grave with the head cut off. The people of the village panicked after seeing the scene. The people of the village thought who or who rat her in the dark. The head of the corpse was cut off. Then the village people arranged to guard the cemetery. Two zonias were placed to guard the cemetery, those two youths, with a torchlight and a stick from 10 at night, until 4 in the morning, they thought very well, the cemetery. Watch, on the fourth day they heard crying in the graveyard, and they searched the whole graveyard with toss, but found no one anywhere, but once after searching the whole graveyard, saw that on the bank of the pond, many foxes were devouring a dead body, the foxes were much bigger than the other foxes, and their eyes were watering, seeing the scene, they began to sing eagerly, and told the story to all the people in the village, then all the people in the village with the torch of fire proceeded towards the old. They all saw the same scene with their own eyes. Some foxes were devouring a dead body. When all the villagers attacked the foxes, the foxes ran away. The next one. In the morning, they find the body, but they do not find the body as head. The people of the village understand that it is the body hanging on the banyan tree after seeing the two hands of the body. Then the people of the village think, this body is not good for our cemetery because since the body was buried in the grave, the mother of all bodies is being stolen. So everyone arranged to bury the body outside the village. Since then, the case of the head of the body being stolen has not been heard. Suddenly one of the two men guarding the cemetery, a young man died, and the burial of the young man was done in the old cemetery. And from that night many, many cries were heard in the village, from eight o'clock in the night until two o'clock. The sound of crying continued for seven days. The people of the village were very afraid of this incident. All the people of the village decided that on Friday, with the Imam of the mosque, when will the body of the young man be removed from the place and buried outside, then everyone will offer Friday prayers. Collected, started the journey to the old cemetery, to remove the corpse of the young man from the grave and bury it outside. But when people went to the cemetery, people were more afraid, Everyone in the village saw the corpse of the young man, with his head cut off, lying on the grave. The whole body of the corpse was decomposed. The people of the village put the body in sacks and brought it outside the village. Then no body was buried in that village for a long time. The people of the village forbade burying the body in that cemetery. After that in our time in 2008, the mosque committee did not decide to bury the body in that grave again. After that the old grave site was started again. The grave site was cleaned well by people. For nine consecutive years the grave site was fine. It was going on, but I never dreamed that the old incident was happening to us again. That morning, our three friends day was not going well like the other days. It just seemed that something would happen today, like that, that day, a distant uncle died in our village. 
Let us go. Relatives come at 8 o'clock in the night. After 8 o'clock the body is taken to Carbo Place for burial, and the body is buried properly. I will leave the place. I have heard many stories about what will happen today. Today we will see for ourselves what is happening now. As we say, we put soil in the grave and sat by the pond beside the grave. After 20 to 25 minutes we heard a light noise. Then we thought that someone maybe I will do it inside the place. It doesn't take much time to put three handfuls of soil in the grave. But after 10 to 15 minutes we go to the grave site, and I see three people in plain clothes on the grave of the person whom I buried a little while ago. People wearing clothes, moving the soil on top of the grave. The faces of those people could not be seen, but they were very tall. I watched the incident with fear. The head started eating. After seeing this scene, we could not stay there for a moment, rushed to the village with full body strength, and told the incident to Imam Sahib and the masjid. Imam Sahib asked to keep the incident secret at night. The next morning, this incident was complete. It spread in the village, after which the burial of dead bodies was stopped in that grave. This was the true horror of our three friends. Comment how you liked the incident. And like the incident if you like it. True physical events are uploaded on our YouTube channel. Those who love to hear true horror stories now subscribe to our Buddha Atta 2024 challenge. If you have a true horror story in your life or someone you know has a horror story then send it to our email. Our email address is in the video description box. Thanks.